There's another place where break-induced replication turns out to be very important, and that is in a subset of transformed cell lines and cancers. Um, you may know that, that when we are born, most of the cells in our bodies have uh, ends, chromosome ends called telomeres, which are repeated sequences um, of a certain length. And as these cells divide, uh, actually telomeres get shorter and shorter and shorter with every replication cycle, simply because the enzyme that had added these repeated sequences called telomerase uh, turns out to, to be turned off in almost all the cells of the body except a, a small subset of stem cells. Um, in most cancers, when, when those cells become cancerous, they turn back on the telomerase enzyme, and cells become immortalized in part because they can maintain chromosome ends at a, with a long telomere, and they never reach a point which is known as senescence. There is, however, a small number of uh, cancers, osteosarcomas being one uh, particular example, um, and many transformed cell lines that never turn telomerase back on, and yet they become immortalized uh, either as tumors or as cell lines. And they do that by a recombination-dependent process, which leads to what is called alternative lengthening of telomeres. And it turns out that this alternative of lengthening of telomere process uh, seems to be another example of how break-induced replication is operating in these cells. So uh, we know, for example, uh, from work in my own lab, that in budding yeast, uh, we can take cells and knock out the telomerase enzyme. And as we expected, in most cases, the telomeres get shorter and shorter and shorter, and eventually almost all the cells die because they have unprotected chromosome ends. But a small a uh, population of survivors emerges which have figured out how to elongate their telomeres in the absence of telomerase, and it turns out that they all require uh, proteins that we can identify as being necessary for break-induced replication, most notably a non-essential DNA polymerase subunit of Paul Delta called Paul 32 So um, not only is break-induced replication important in restarting DNA replication forks, but it's also very important in maintaining chromosome ends in the absence of telomerase.